Hello, friends. Sorry it is taking me so long to fucking put out a video. Life was just crazy. Also, since I fucked my back up, I don't know if I told you guys. I think I might have. Anyway, fucked my back up a little bit, so I haven't been able to deadlift or squat because there's no better place to power lift than barbell. Taking away two of my lifts, like it, it didn't make sense for me to go to barbell just to do my bodybuilding accessories. Because I still have to do cardio too, so I would have to go half an hour to barbell, half an hour home, then a half an hour to golds in the completely different direction just to do cardio. So I was just doing cardio and my accessories in the same lift and saving a shit ton of time. Speaking of saving a shit ton of time, there's probably gonna be some random cuts in the video. Because I'm doing this while I'm eating, because for some reason, I've been making it a goal to make this video since last Wednesday. No, last Tuesday possibly. One of those days. Every time I would fucking just eat and then take a nap. And so you know what? We're gonna eat and film at the same time. And it's a chicken bowl from Wabba Grill, by the way. Extra chicken. Protein for the gains and whatnot. In the last video, not the last video, the one before my car got fucked up, or the one when my car got fucked up, I was kind of talking about how prep had been really difficult ever since my powerlifting meet. Just to be a little more open about it, just because I don't know if you guys care what you go through with bodybuilding and stuff as opposed to powerlifting, but I'm gonna fucking tell you anyway. I'm about to go on a long little speech. So if you wanna look here, because I haven't edited the video yet, I don't know what time my workout footage is gonna play, but I'm gonna put it right here. Yes, show the time. What? Why are you? You're such a fucking child. Can you just show the correct time already? Dude, I'm sorry it took me so long. What do you want? Fuck. You're really gonna do, you. I'm sorry it took so long for me to edit this video. Is that better? Thank you. So this is what time it will show. I don't know what lift I'm gonna put, but yeah, if you don't wanna hear me talking and you just wanna see me lift things, go to this time. Ever since my me, my bodybuilding coach has been taking care of all my nutrition, obviously because uh, the shreddedness or whatever is all diet. <clears throat> Excuse me, that reminds me. This is a bigger bite than I realized. Diet's a big thing and Obviously with powerlifting, you eat to be strong, which means eating a lot. Bodybuilding, yes in your off season, you're eating to gain mass and all that shit, but when it actually comes to prep, you're eating to shred as much fat off of your body as possible. What I was doing, which was difficult, was I was trying to perform as a powerlifter while eating like a bodybuilder. So by the time my coach gave me my uh, my restrictions, which were none, for my powerlifting meet. He's like, I want you to perform as best as you can. Eat whatever, obviously don't fucking gorge yourself. And I think I posted about what I ate. I fucking had chorizo burritos. I had pancakes. I ended up having McFlurries, McDonald's. I ended up semi-gorging. I still was able to perform how I wanted to, but ever since that day, the 19th of June, probably until, geez. The beginning of July, let's say, no, like the 5th of July or so, probably around there, I hadn't eaten within my macros at all. Whether that would be 100, calorie, 100 calories off, so too much carbs, whatever, or some nights even like 1,500 calories. And after doing that for so long, the video I posted uh, where I talked about it, it took me a couple days until Took me a couple days after that until I realized that I was 
feeling so negatively about the diet and being so depressed because I would, guys, it's not that important. I would basically eat because, well, of course my calories were a lot lower than they were during my powerlifting meet because even then my coach knew I had to perform, so he was kind of being generous with me. When it came to cutting my calories right after that, I had just had this weekend of eating whatever I wanted. I felt amazing, I was so happy, I didn't have to track anything. It got me to the cycle of being depressed because I'm hungry and tired, then eating, then feeling satisfied until I woke up in the morning and realized that my weight had gone up, and then I would be depressed with the fact that I was so disappointed in myself for not staying on my diet, then I'd be good throughout the day, it'd be a 10 o'clock at night, I live 15 steps from a liquor store and I'd be like, you know what, a sleeve of Ritz will not kill you. And then I'd feel good, wake up, of course overweight. That cycle continued for two or three weeks and I was miserable. And that's when I put out the video saying how difficult it was. And then finally a few days after that I was kind of thinking about it all. First of all I have to say, my coach has been incredible with trying to accommodate me with refeeds because of how much I love food. And honestly, my genetics have kind of allowed me a faster metabolism, so I'm able to get away with eating a little more and having a couple more refeeds. There were days after that, kind of where I told him I was struggling so much where I'd have four day refeeds and I'd still, because of however he did it, I'd still be waking up, yes, weighing more just because there's more food in my stomach, but I'd still be waking up leaner and just, so he's fucking incredible. It got to the point where I, I sat back and with all these things when it comes to making sacrifices, so sacrifices of eating less food, adding more cardio, maybe not going out with your friends, all those sacrifices have to have a long-term benefit that is worth making those sacrifices for. And yes, I mean, I wanted to look good on stage, blah, 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 but I finally sat down and I was like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, you like food, whatever, but you've literally been 10 weeks in training already and you've fucking gone so far. Why in the last month are you going to decide that food is so much more important than it was then? Like, you knew what you were getting into. Sack the fuck up and you'll be happier for it because really the only reason you're depressed is because you're eating, because you're putting that your, yourself in that terrible cycle. And so I sat down and it was the biggest weight lifted off my shoulders because I finally knew what I was, what I was doing, what I was doing it for. I wasn't doing it for the end goal, I was doing it for the amount of hours that I've already put in. For all of you who fucking comment or whatever and say, you know, you're looking good, can't wait to see how you look at your show, can't wait to follow your progress. Like, you guys don't understand how much that honestly means to me and keeps me going because it makes me do something for more than myself. Yeah, you know, you should, at the end of the day, you have to deal with you and how you feel is the most important but everyone else's voice is so important to me as well that it just changed. And ever since then, that was probably two weeks ago, I haven't gone over once. I've been on point with everything. He's been giving me more refeeds. We just started kind of cutting it down extremely and adding even more cardio. And still, I'm hungry, but I'm not even tempted because I know I've worked so hard and I know I dreamt of having this certain body on stage and honestly, I'm probably not gonna get to that because if I wanted to get to that, I would have had to have been on point this whole fucking time. So it's almost more of a motivator going into my next show. Yes, I'm 95% sure I'm gonna do another one. I don't know when, but I know now that I kind of, I know what it takes to get at least to this point and I know what I'm gonna have to fight through and I know what is going to make it worth it at the end. Knowing all that, I can't wait to go and do my next one. I'm disappointed in my lack of discipline, but it's my first fucking one and there's so many things that have happened that I didn't expect with training, life, whatever, 
that affected that, but now I know exactly what to expect so I can kind of push past it. What? Well, sorry. So yeah, so I kind of just wanted to tell you guys about that and honestly comment if there's any fucking questions you guys have, uh, if there's certain videos you guys want me to make. I'm really going to try and step up my, my vlog game and put out more videos than I have been. I've been super fucking shitty with it, but training at Gold's I'm not able to film as much just because it's a little more compact and I don't have many people to film if I were to ask someone because that would be weird like, hey, film me. I'm hoping that I'll have some more stuff out for you guys. I've been to Barbell more this last week than I have in a while, so I have a decent amount of workout footage that I can kind of show you guys. Granted, this week's a deload, so it won't be the most exciting, but it can kind of give you a little idea of what I'm doing bodybuilding-wise. Um, other than that, three weeks out, a little over three weeks, um, I'm ready. So I hope that kind of filled you guys in a little bit on what's been going on. I'm so sorry it's taking me so long. Yeah, workout footage is going to follow this. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys. Oh, 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 oh,